Network, I'm your host, Trevor Evans. As you all know, 21 years from now, the SS Poseidon sank on its way to Athens on its final voyage. There were many people lost, but during that time we've lost a bunch of money. Currently, the SS Poseidon rests on the underwater cliff. We do not know if it might collapse and cause another earthquake. At the time, we only have a few different photos of the wreck dangling over the edge. Looks like we have another guest here. Enter. I'll give it over to you. Hello, everybody. I'm Wilbur Bancroft. What the f is up with those glasses, Wilbur? I haven't seen those things since 1989. Where I continue. Set? Anyways, back to our story. In light news of the certain tragedy, the naval line behind the tragedy is currently rebuilding the Poseidon under a different name, the Triton. It is most for certain on its beta voyage that it will garner about 1,000 people. The new vessel is most for certain to be renamed to the SS Triton by the president of the Cosmopolitan Transatlantic Lines. Based on what Trevor previously stated, the SS Poseidon currently rests on a mile-large underwater cliff. If it happens to fall off the ledge, it could cause a disaster like we've never seen before. That is a cut. We're off air. Where do you think you're going? My friend is hiking in the Rockies. I'm gonna be watching over his house for him. You have a job here. Put your work before house babysitting. I gotta go, boss. He's on a mountain. He can't protect his house. FYI, you're fired. Hello everybody, I'm Wilbur Bancroft. After being previously fired, I decided boarding the ship to properly document. 
Bring two cameramen with me. We'll take a journey around the ship to discover the similarities to the previous one. Hey! What are you guys doing over there? Oh, we're filming a documentary. Are we causing a problem? Oh, of course not. I was just curious. I forgot to properly introduce myself, but I'm Wilbur. Uh, this is Axel, one of my camera crew. That's definitely me. And this is Sean. Yep. What about you? Oh, I'm Jersey. New Jersey? You can't imagine how much I get that. Well, I better get going. Bye. You didn't say bye? Before I end the service, I want to remind you, if you keep going to church, you will reach heaven. And if you do not keep donating to the church, you will reach hell. Where are we again? On planet Earth, Heather. No talking during the sermon. On planet Earth? Oh, cool, I guess. The money you donate does not go to me. It goes to the altar. Uh, why would Jesus need money? Uh... We all just know that money just goes to you. Noah didn't kill Goliath. What are you on about? I told you to zip it! I will not tolerate this. I'm just saying... You shouldn't be a preacher. I personally think you would fit the role of a dictator. Well, you shouldn't be in church. You would be better as a drunk driver. You alcoholics don't know your right from left. Alcoholics go to hell. Adrian, you're late. Sorry. You're very late. I must have gotten distracted. It's already closing anyway. Oh. To be fully honest, it wasn't that good. Why would you do that, Heather? You really have no filter. It just slipped out. Somebody got to call him out. Yeah. But to the preacher? I mean, it is true. He was just making things up. He's taking advantage of people and scamming them. Good thing you weren't yelling. I was tired. Diana, it's always a good thing when I yell. It is fulfilling. Yeah, that, that always ends well. Thing. Do not question my art. That's a really nice bed. Yeah, for me. You'll sleep right there. You're joking. Zip it. Everyone knows you smell like shoes. Sit on the floor. Good. Don't lean that far back. Why? What the f- Why is there- Ow! Oh, so much luggage! I didn't want my roommate touching my luggage. Wouldn't be surprised if you hit a bunch of people in these. I probably did. What? Did you pack your entire house in here? Did Fred give you a concussion? You, you named each and every bag? Why do you have so much? Okay, okay, yeah. 
This needs to stop, Heather. So you guys just practice and we film, alright? Sounds fine, right? Yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. Can you brighten that light just a bit? Sure. I don't think it's gonna work. There we go. We still don't have a singer. We have two more days to get a singer. I mean, I could. No! You tried that once, and only once. Sean, you haven't even heard my singing. Oh. Alright, let's just stop. Jersey, you're not singing. Let's just start. Are you by any chance a sinker? We're kind of looking for one here. <laughs> well, I could put on a pretty good show. That's great. When will you be ready? It's gonna be great. Well, you see, I could balance things so on my you're nose. Not a That's singer? cool, right? Oh yes, I can. You see, it all started back in 1954. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we're done here. Can I help you, sir? I couldn't help but over here. You need a singer? Yeah, you're the first one I ran into who isn't a lunatic. Half the people here are lunatics. Just a sad reality. Especially the one preacher guy or whatever his name was. Uh, Lawrence? Oh yeah, follow me.
What is it? I'm Trevor's colleague, Martin. Have you seen Wilbur? He's been absent for a while. No, he's been fired. That's absolutely comical. First day, he's gone. British Airways 1060 land at the Isle of Man. Sink rate. We can't Sink reach rate. the Isle of Man, we're Sink stalling. Rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. I still don't know why that series got cancelled. Ah, that's better. You reached the top of the highest mountains. After that, Noah and his family were the only ones left alive. It's Moses, not Noah. And after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain finally stopped. And Noah Moses. was sent to death. He sent an ostrich, you and alcoholic when the narrator. Came back, it had an old branch. Showing now that finally at last Noah and his family were safe as the ark finally came to rest on Mount Ararat. Ugh, it was Mount Everest, not Ararat! Come in! Oh, Mike, you'll be. Are you here to tell me about Jesus? I already know of the man. My name is Virginia. Virginia? And I want to ask you something. West Virginia! Mountain Mama! Take me home! What? I don't know. It's a popular song. I like it. Got a problem with that? Anyways, could I ask a question now? What time do you start your sermons? I think I've missed the last one. I start in the evening. To be specific, 7 p.m. And by any chance, do you know when the New Year's party starts? No, milady, leave me alone. I'm sorry, sir, I just don't want to miss it. You must know how this feels. Why, oh, yes, when I was a kid. I'm just kidding, I can't relate to you. At all. Bet you're not so good at Commandment 6, are you? What? I didn't murder anyone. Well, aside from that one time in the factory when I turned on the machine while my friend Connie was still working on it. <laughs> Whoops. I think I should call someone. Well, no. Aside from that one time when I accidentally left the oven on at my friend's place and blew his house up. <laughs> Please stay away from me now.
Mm, sir, this is your 14th drink in the past 30 minutes. That's a really bad business choice. I'm just giving you more money, aren't I? What was your name again? I am the one and only Howard Benjamin Tossig the second. Hey, Tossig. I recognize that name. I read that uh, in a newspaper once. I think I found it in my grandma's attic. That thing was like ancient. Scientists could mistake that thing for a fossil. Also, your family tree goes on like forever. Some of them are 25 and they use canes. Why do you know so much about my family? I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Stop punching the air! It's weird! Also, I've noticed how each one of your family members dies on a boat. Well, but I'm sure you won't. I think. All right, you've talked about me enough. Now, what's your story? Well, I used to uh, climb mountains and stuff. That was my whole thing back then. I used to, at least. Until one of the people I used to hike with died. Her name was Vera. That's the whole reason I came here. Just to be in a more fresh environment, I guess. Uh, I better get going. One more drink? Come on, at least give me one. Don't go in there. Why not? Chaos. Yeah, just don't. Save the partying for New Year's. Alright then. Sorry I'm late. I ran into a crew member and we talked. You know, there's a bunch of famous people on board. I do and I don't care. Oh. Okay. Sounds like you're a little jealous though. Go get me a drink now. Oh, ma'am, you know how the waiters take the glasses, right? Sorry, my friend's just gonna yell at me if I don't quickly get another glass. If she yells at you, why don't you ignore her? Maybe I should. But, uh... Yeah, I won't tell. I honestly don't know how I ended up here. At first, I thought we were going to film on a small boat. But this is just amazing. I know, right? 
Yeah, I'd be glad. I could have been dragging you guys across the ocean on a tugboat. That still would have been okay, I guess. If I made money from it, who cares? Money, money's good and all. But this is somewhere I would pay to be at. Whatever. Let's go film. Can everybody direct your attention to the stage, please? We are currently 50 minutes till midnight. Yay. 15 minutes, everyone. I'd just like to say I find this night very special. Not only is this an amazing ship with amazing people on it, 1995 is also my favorite number. Before New Year's, I would like to introduce a special guest, and now this is the part I actually care about. Introducing Mariah Carey! Oh no. Uh, uh, hello. I'm your waiter, Sergio. Where's the food? I'm sorry, I've dropped the food. I'll be on in a minute. I'll take it from here. What the? Where the f is the food? Stupid piece of f Your life is a lie. Just bring the f food. She's like f Anyway, you f***ing pathetic b You're f and if you even think you're stopping me, Diana, how about you go your ass to too long? I don't know, it felt like tremor. Something huge. Maybe it's just the weather. Yes. Everyone, I'd like to announce it is officially midnight. So, that of course means Happy New Year! <laughs>
I don't know!
Jersey? You made it. I don't know, but I can't feel my arm. Then who got hit? That was Dave. What even happened here? It's like a freaking cemetery. Are you okay up there? Not really. Where is everyone else? Are are they dead? Everyone else is gone. I think. You still have the camera? No, it was completely shattered. What about mine? Probably destroyed too. Do you think we should go with them? Not without Wilbur. Okay, we made it. Are you guys coming? Uh, I'll go if the rest of you are going. Axel, Sean, wait for me. I'll go find something to get you guys up. How do you expect us to climb that, Donnie? What are you doing here, Wilbur? What happened to my house? Everyone get up! 
before this place blows! I'm coming up after you. Does anyone else know who this is? Well, I don't know who you are either. Fair. Speaking of that, who are you anyway? I'm Roy. What brought you here? I was on my way to see my best friend. What's his name? Charles. You should head down to the Green Apple with him when we get out. I don't think I'll be able to. Why? Because tomorrow is the last day I'll be able to see him. What are we going to do from here? Donnie, or whatever your name is. Go check the hallways to see if it's safe. Why me? We need to, you know, not die. Alright. I heard something down there anyway. Can anybody acknowledge that people are still dying down there? We both know it's too late. And I'm not dying alone. What? Sounds like it came from the engine room. How would I know that? Probably because of that explosion. You know, for a second I actually thought that- God! Get out of the Away from me! Sorry. Well, uh, thank you actually. What's your name? Wilbur. I'm Heather. You know what? I want to punch everyone, but I'll make an exception. I've wanted that too. Really? I hope those morons that came in get their hair slammed to their desks and then, and then thrown, thrown into a incinerator. Into incinerator. Huh? Let's get out of here so we can do it ourselves. Here, let me help you out with that. I was a nurse a while back. I don't feel anything. You're probably in shock. That's cool, I guess. 
I'll clean up the blood. Wait, how? Someone needs help. Stay there. We need to get moving, like, right now. This isn't going to hold. Keep, keep move, moving. Thank you very much, sir. You, you can you can thank me later. No, no move. Well, there you are. I thought you died in that fire. Are you talking to him or me? Anyone? I think we should keep moving. It seems like it's flooding fast. Hey, it'll be fine. All of us are gonna get out of here. You need to get your act together. Get. It. Together. There's no benefit from this. What's the point? There's no more room. In hell. Am I right, Desmond? Let's stay here. We need to go down, or should I say up, these stairs. Well, we're going. You can stay here for all I care. Hey, uh, you again. Go. Again. You. Do we rule out the possibility of going down instead of up? You know the ship, right? Uh, let me think. Are we only going up? We need to rule out the possibility first. What if we can't get through from the top? I mean, yeah, but... I don't know. It's much more risky to go down, though. What if we went up? At the very top, the club should be there. You can enter Broadway through the club. Alright, then. We're going up, everyone! <laughs> I'm already on it. Show off.
Hey Roy, are you coming up? I think I'm gonna wait for the rest of them. I wanna make sure everyone gets up. Alright then, we will see you at the top. I never got your name. I'm Virginia. That's a nice name. Should we go together? We should probably get moving. Why not? Stay right where you are! This is gonna break if I move. I'm going to die, aren't I? Please! I'm sorry!
at Desmond. I just need to clear something up. I don't think we need two leaders. You didn't contribute anything at the staircase. There's no point in going down. Are you that stupid? What if we couldn't get to Broadway through here? Have you ever heard of going down to go up? The land literally flooded like five minutes ago. Where do you think the water is? Instead of ruling out all the possibilities first, you jump to one conclusion. Don't you want to expand a little more? You've contributed nothing! So just let me leave! Let's keep moving before the water shows up. Push it like you're pushing Trevor's head into the desk! Wilbur, right? No answer. Try pushing with the side of your arm instead. Alright, let me do it. <laughs> Whoa. So this is Broadway. Heather, it's me. Why are you ignoring me? Shut up, Diana. Why are we even trying? Uh, that really begs the question. Where do we go from there? You know what? Sean! You need to shut up! Four of us died, and you're doing nothing but complaining! I. Am. Done! No. <laughs> You're trying to kill me! You're all a waste of space! You know exactly why I did that. Don't play stupid. I hope you die. I truly do. Don't play the victim with me. I am sick! Of people like you! Tried killing me too! I was just trying to get past you!
Desmond, Derek, ugh, anyone. Oh, yeah, that's right. What are you doing? We can still go help him. Once the water enters this room, we're all goners. What? This isn't right. Yes, I'm not so good anymore, Vera. Not interfere ever again! Sorry to interfere, Desmond, but I'm gonna have to take it from here. I'm just about done with all your bickering, and I think I'm gonna kill everyone here. You all are gonna listen to me right now. Isn't that right, Sergio? They won't let this happen to me. I'll make sure KB and A sees all this. Put the gun down. You'll be arrested even if you escape. But nobody will see it, am I right? So everyone get moving. from down there. You actually care? Even after I left them to die? Maybe I do. But it wasn't your fault, you know. Really? Yep. Everyone, keep on moving. We're gonna have to wait for the water. Won't we all drown? The pressure should open this valve. We're gonna have to take a leap of faith. You better be right about this.
you don't have a gun anymore, Boober. You know, we can easily overpower you, right? Roy, how are we going to get out of here? I don't know. But I think I'm just about done with him. I don't think you guys will be any use anymore. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you won't be able to pass. Where's the fun when there's a horde of others in the spotlight? We are going to be the sole survivors. Isn't that right, Wilbur? You don't need to be so dramatic. We've had enough! You won't be able to do that. It's not as simple as that. I'm still gonna be the only one walking out of here. I hope you realize what you're doing. Don't you think you should reverse your expectations? Do not shoot it. She raped it! No! Rot in hell! No. Ah! You killed him? Huh? He wasn't anything more than an accessory. Two people can't be a soul survivor. So thanks. 
What are you gonna do? Hit me? It doesn't look like it. Well, there's the spare. You're not gonna shoot that. I will. You went to your best friend. I'm not aiming for you! Why are you yelling, Diana? You don't ever do that. Heather! Zip it! How are you going to be the same? We won't. Derek is right. Sergio? How did you get out? I got out a couple minutes after you did, and you were fighting, so I kept low. I... I don't know what to say. I'm glad you're back. Would you like to tell us what happened that night? It was just all a blur. The only part that wasn't my colleague, Axel. He's gone and there's nothing I can do about it. I made a friend, then lost one. And then another one. Because it just had to sink. It was chaos. I had to watch hundreds of people die. Well, I realized that my best friend turned out to be a psychopath. She wanted to be interviewed just like this. It still would have happened. Ironic. She wouldn't have been so harsh to everyone. They were just trying to get everyone out. In the end, it didn't work. But I 
guess that's just how it is.